So, on the previous video you saw me clean my four-jaw chuck. One of the reasons I gave for not using it uh, was the fact that I didn't have the correct spanner, the C-spanner, to change the chuck on the lathe. So I thought I'd quickly put one together um, and document it as I go along. Uh, my plan is to use a piece of scrap 10 millimeter flat bar that I had lying around. I've already cleaned this up um, off camera and one of, the, one of the ways I was thinking of doing it was um, I could draw it up and mark it out on the, on the actual steel itself um, but I modelled it in 3D program and um, I'll show a screenshot on the on the video um, and I did a 3D print of the the overall shape that I'm looking to make so that's the that's the shape of the key so I'm going to use that as a template on the steel just like that okay, let's get it shot and for a handle uh, again I had a piece of um, tubing lying around fairly long it's um, 27 mil 30 mil diameter with an eye with an inside diameter of I think 26 26 mil something like that so it should be more than adequate and basically I will once that's cut out that will slot inside and we have a spanner so that's the plan let's see how we go okay so I'm not overly concerned about the tolerances on this um, I've checked this on the actual chuck itself or on the um, on the collar and it fits perfectly fine so as long as it's within a few thou of this everything will be fine uh, also with the actual steel itself there's some cut marks in it and there's a I don't know it goes down maybe a millimeter here again I'm not concerned about that at all because that will be inside the actual handle itself and I'll be welding that on so not a problem at all so what I'm going to do first of all is mark it up use a bit of daikum and scribe around it to give me an idea of the overall layout the only part that I'm concerned about the most is the tiny bit at the end that actually engages with the um, that engages with the, 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 the collar as that's the only part that has to lock in place as long as the overall shape is correct everything will work so I'll give that a moment to to dry off um, now one of the things I'm going to try I don't know if this is actually going to work is I'm going to use the plasma cutter to cut around this now obviously this is made of plastic and it melts at about 200 degrees so the question is can I cut through this steel in less time than it takes for this to melt we're going to find out soon enough the um, the reason why I'm marking it up is just to give me an idea of the overall shape and should the plasma cut fail I can go in with a jigsaw or any other method of cutting so that's just to give me an idea of the actual shape okay so I'm gonna to have to have it hanging over the edge of the bench here space is limited I'm going to pump it out. Okay, the other thing to bear in mind with the um, cutting torch is where I've got the edge here, the torch doesn't cut at the edge. There's approximately three millimeters between the edge that I'm going to be following and where the actual plasma jet comes out. So the cut will be approximately three millimeters further out, which is fine because it gives me room to grind and, and tidy, it, tidy up the cut. Um, so it's not a major problem, it's just it will be slightly larger. And um, this will also be at absolute full power. This goes up to 50 amps. 10 millimeter steel is right on the edge of that. So I've got it set to 50 amps 
70 psi on the uh, on the compressed air. Let's see what happens. Cutter may have overheated, and <laughs> I'm less than less than a centimeter away from the edge. Well, that was fun. Got there in the end, though. The uh, plasma cutter couldn't handle the uh, the 50 amps. It overheated and then blew a fuse. So, running the plasma cutter at 50 amps, that's never a good thing. Um, I think I had the um, the airline set high enough, 70 psi. It seemed to be cutting through, but just wasn't quite make, making it very well. So I opted to uh, pin drill it and then I sawed around the edge and then took an angle grinder to it to take the, uh, take the rough edges off. Perfectly happy with that. It fits, that's the important thing. It'll do the job. As far as the template goes, there was a little bit of melting. I was concerned that it might completely melt. However, it seemed to take the heat quite well. I uh, I was surprised. I thought it would just be a puddle of plastic. However, you can see there's a few 
bits here and there where it, it melted and it did actually melt to the metal and stick but prying it off it soon came away it's buckled slightly but as far as the actual shape goes that will do me the um, the little notch at the end that engages with the collar that's ever so slightly bigger on this however it does fit as I say so totally happy next thing to do is to uh, prepare the handle and uh, weld it on okay so slight change of plan I bolted it on instead does the job I may need to shorten the length of the handle though it's a little bit too long however I'll give it a go, see how it works, and uh, shorten the handle accordingly. Thanks for watching.